What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so, <laughs> look at this. Rayquaza came in. He's not happy. And, well, we just proved to Xenia that we are indeed worthy. So, yeah, guys, in our last episode, we went through everything. Well, not everything. We found out that, you know, uh, we we kind of we kind of found out why uh what, what what's his face uh Wallace why he why he got why he gave off a an, an entitled attitude and that's because well shoot I guess you know he's one of the few Sutapulitans or I can't even pronounce that that knows the secret to get into this place and of course Zinnia called upon Rayquaza right here and well she was not worthy because she didn't have more meteorites and now I do he ate my meteorite you know the one that we got from Professor Cosmo and stuff and well it is time. You can hear the music, man. It's freaking hilarious. Okay, it's time. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Oh, wait, it's Whisper. Never mind. Okay, it's time. It's game time. Alrighty. Here it is. We are going to be taking on this guy right here, Rayquaza. Holy buckets. And here we got Thunderball. Okay, so as you guys can see, Rayquaza is at level 70, and the weather effects have disappeared, meaning, yeah, you know, moves such as uh, sunny day, rainy day, and all that stuff, they won't necessarily work onto this Pokemon, and this is exactly what we needed. We needed this Pokemon to, yes, get paralyzed, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just flash it, whatever. Yes, we're going to blind this Pokemon, and oh, it's got Dragon Dance. So, uh, we have got to beat this Pokemon real quickly because, yeah, this Pokemon is not going to, yeah, he's not going to give us a chance. So, let's go with another Discharge Attack right here. And that right there, oh, wow, he, okay, so we, we need to blind this Pokemon because, wow, Flash, come on. There we go. Okay, so <sighs> there it is, another Dragon's Dance. This Pokemon is trying to buff itself up. And remember, this Pokemon is a very, very, very physical Pokemon. And right now, it can't hit us. So we're going to blindly, blindly, blind it completely. Wow, can't say that. And try it again. Extreme speed does not work. There we go. So I think that's like four times the blind. We got one more in us, I think, hopefully. Yes! Okay, so Rayquaza is blind, and what we're going to do now is we're gonna we're gonna heal up our Pokemon right here because, well, here's the thing: this Pokemon that we're taking on is a very, 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 very physical Pokemon, and it just buffed its attacks. And yes, we just avoided getting hurt right there. So let's go right ahead and use one more Charge Beam, and hopefully this will actually help us. And... Oh! Fuck. Huh. <laughs> oh. So... <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. We have to capture this Pokemon. So there's no ifs, ands, or buts. This Pokemon will be caught. Okay. And we didn't save our game previously, so we're going to try this again. It just healed itself. It, like, literally revived itself. So let's go ahead and give another Sodi Pop to Thunderball. And uh, let's rinse and repeat right here. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Round two. Fight. <laughs> so here it is, Rayquaza yet again wants to battle us. Okay, so as you guys can see, Rayquaza level 70. We need to paralyze it. We need to make sure that it doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't uh, hit us physically. And crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Okay, so let's see. We can use light screen. There we go. Unfortunately, I think fly is a uh, physical attack, so yeah, that that that's not very effective. But still, 
Here we go. Discharge attack. Come on. Paralyze this Pokemon. Yes! You are paralyzed. And you cannot move now. Okay, so the strategy again is to blind this Pokemon because it will try to use, uh, what was it? Dragon's Dance. And yeah, Dragon's Dance is uh, no joke right there. Uh, let's see. Another flash, I think? Nope, it avoided. And yes, you cannot attack, homeboy. Yes, we are winning. Okay, flash it. I can almost picture. I can almost picture DBZ abridged, okay? Where they tried to do, or where they did, what was it called? Um, where they did the solar flare, and you would see, like, you know, a snippet of either a naked Dodoria or Frieza. You guys know what I'm talking about. And, well, there goes Fly again. And, well, let's see. We can use another full restore just to kill this Pokemon. I know it's a, it's a waste of it, but... Gotta keep our boy up and tidy and ready to go right here. And, uh, well, here comes a Fly, and it has been avoided. All right, let's go. Flash again. There we go. You are blind, my friend. Okay, so we are not going to make the same mistake like last time. We're going to go straight for a Charge Beam. And that right there will lower its... Yeah, it will lower its uh, HP just a little bit. But I kind of feel as though if I hit it one more time with a Charge Beam, it's just... It, yeah, it's not going to work out. So let's go ahead and flash this Pokemon. And... Yes, you are paralyzed, my friend. What if I throw a Pokeball at it? No, don't do that. Let's go and throw an Ultra Ball at it. I kind of feel like they made it easy to capture this Pokemon. Could be wrong. There's one. There's two. There's three. Huh. Never mind. Okay, so <laughs> throwing at the peace sign, guys. They made it easy for us to capture this Pokemon. Look at that. Okay, so here it is, guys. Rayquaza, the Sky High Pokemon. It is both Dragon and Flying type Pokemon. 23 feet, 455 pounds of pure badassness. And this is the second time we've encountered it. It's reincarnation form. It flies forever through the ozone layer, consuming meteoroids for sustenance. The many meteoroids in its body provide the energy it needs to mega evolve. Huh. Makes sense. And, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and nickname this Pokemon. Many of you guys have seen it before. I've, I'm, you've seen it with other YouTubers. I'm going to do it right here because it does look like it. Say hello to Shenron. That's right. This Pokemon is pretty badass. Shenron. And, yes, it has been transferred to Team 1. So after capturing Rayquaza, it wants to come into your team. So let's go ahead and switch out the Pokemon we need to switch out. And it looks like, to me, the Pokemon I'm going to switch out is Frost. Because, well, yeah, it's not really not really uh, useful right now. It hasn't done anything. I mean, shoot, what was I thinking? What was I smoking? Is it over? Yeah. Congratulations, Draven. And thank you. History has chosen you. The truth remains that Rayquaza chose you but not, and not me. But while I don't know how to put it into words exactly... I think I understand why. You will be a successor to our long history now. And I pass to you the final key to Rayquaza's true power. The move that, on, uh, that only it can learn. Dragon Ascent. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. So I am I a dragon in too? Because that, that's awesome. So there it is. Shenron has succeeded in a power of Dragon Ascent. That's it then. I guess it's time that I... I do my last task as Lore Keeper. You have obtained Rayquaza's power for your own. Now I will uh, have you prove to me that you can master that power in battle. That is my final... Well, that is the final duty of the Lore Keeper of the Draconid people. Show me that you can ex exceed it in the entirety of the history that we have clung into until today. Oh, wow. Okay. Whew. My pulse. I can feel it racing. Yes. I'm feeling totally pumped. This is it. Wow, she looks crazy as hell. But here it is, guys. The final battle against Lorekeeper Zinnia. And she's got herself five, five Dragon-type Pokemon. And all of them are just... Look at them. Just look at them. So here we coming out with Shenron right here. Shenron using Airlock. 
And the cool thing about this is that it can now Mega Evolve, and I'm just going to straight up use Dragon Pulse just to destroy everybody. So here we go, the Fervent Thingy. And this is our very first Mega Evolution right here onto the channel with this game right here. And Digivolving to Mega Shenron. Or Mega Rayquaza. Look at that. Look at this Pokemon. Holy crud. So its Delta Stream has increased its power. And it is protecting flying type Pokemon. So here comes the Dragon Pulse. Bam. It is unfair having this Pokemon, guys. She just... <laughs> <laughs> she just messed with the wrong guy. And here she's going to be coming out with a Tyrantrum. No, I am not switching out the Pokemon. This Pokemon is just too OP. I am going to destroy you. Let's go, Dragon Ascent. Here we go. Oh, not Dragon Ascent. I meant Dragon Pulse. Because you, you'd be smart to use Dragon Pulse, guys. Come on. Seriously. Don't be stupid, all right? And, well... Thunderbolt, not doing anything. Grows level 68. And here comes Altaria. Yes. I'm going to continue right here. Just using the heck out of Dragon uh, Dragon Pulse. Let's go. Dragon Pulse. Oh, man. It is too unfair. Oh, my God. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> this is uh, totally unfair. Talks to Batman. Grows level 54. Not doing anything. And here comes Noivern. Noivern, guys. This Pokemon right here. Hopefully we'll see in, you know, Pokemon Y, if we ever get to it. And here we go. <laughs> Dragon Pulse. Oh, man. Yeah, she must be punching the air right now just because, yeah, we're not being fair. Anyway, well, she's going to be coming out with a Salamence. We're not going to be switching. Well, look at that. Salamence using Intimidate. Of course, trying to take away our physical attack. We are not going to use that Dragon Ascent. We are going to go with the Dragon Pulse. But as you guys can see, Salamence using its Salamence Sight. And it is Mega Evolved. Look at that. Into a deadly Dragon Boomerang and all that stuff. So here comes Dragon Pulse for the win. And just like that, we sweep Zinnia. Okay, all right. Look at that. Oh, yes. And Gaia, without doing anything, grows to level 64. Yes. And she's just looking, and she's like, just as I expected from you, Draven. Yeah, we are the true Dragonid. Okay, all righty. I guess it falls to you now. Hmm. What falls to me? What? Oh yeah, the meteorites. My bad. That settles it then. Draven, you should be, you should even be able to beat the meteoroid that's approaching the planet. You and Rayquaza together. I am leaving this task to you, our new successor, Successor Draven. You and Rayquaza must protect nature, Pokemon, and the people. Okay, alrighty, and uh, well, we are making our ascent and. Uh, Look at that. We are transformed into the blue Power Ranger, and Rayquaza's right there waiting for us. Alrighty. I bid you adieu, mere mortals. Me and my most powerful Pokemon are about to save your puny muggle asses again. Look at that. That is freaking fantastic, guys. Like, I, I am I'm glad that they added this to, to the game because it's fantastic. Okay. Alrighty. Doing our thing. Going into outer space. Look at that. You know, if somebody says, hey, have you ever been to an exotic place? Just say, I've been to outer space. Look at that. Okay. And, well, it mega evolved as well, so that's pretty cool. And here comes the meteorite. And just like that, both me and Rayquaza are going to finish this thing off.
Well, what do you know? So guess who decided to come along and play with us? Look at that, guys. It's Deoxys. Okay. Alrighty. So just when you think you're done, no, we still got, uh, well, Deoxys ready to go right here. Look at this. It does have life. Deoxys. And I believe this is his speed form. And we're going with Rayquaza Mega Evolved and ready to go right here. And as you guys can see, Deoxys, level 80. I think it ties... I think it ties for the strongest Pokemon or legendary Pokemon out there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use Dragon Speed or Dragon Pulse because I don't want to take a chance at like just beating this Pokemon and letting it faint. Especially when, you know, I have, I've already, you know, I've already kind of like made a mistake once. So here we go, Dragon Pulse. And wow. Okay, so uh, this Pokemon is uh not that strong so let's go right ahead and use a uh an ultra ball right here you know it will actually work boom trying to capture this pokemon in outer space that is my question how do you capture a pokemon in outer space and then get that pokeball back and here comes its hyper beam that is wow guys i'm gonna use it because well i have no need for it we are going to be using the Master Ball for this particular situation right here because, well, yes, I kind of feel like I'm going to ruin it. So, here it is, throwing in the Master Ball. Two and three. Do not worry, guys. We got plenty of Master Balls in Pokemon Omega Ruby. And there it is, guys. Deoxys has been caught. I am feeling good. Look at that. And Leviathan grows to level 70, so my team is just becoming like a tank. An absolute monster of a tank. And, well, would you look at this? Here we have Deoxys, the DNA Pokemon, and this is its normal form. So, Deoxys emerged from the virus that came from space. It is highly intelligent and wields psychokinetic powers. This Pokemon shoots lasers from its crystalline organ on its chest. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're not going to nickname this Pokemon, but this Pokemon's going straight to the PC. But look at that, guys. We have uh, saved the world from utter destruction. Captured ourselves a pretty cool Pokemon that, you know, was unobtainable back in the, back in the day. And uh, I believe this is the end of uh, our, our, our Delta series, I believe. I don't know. And, well, here is a little Mew Mew, a little Aster. And, uh, well, let's see what happens right here. We got a little ladder. I was finally able to bring everything to an end. Thank you for that. I think I'll spend some time now trying to find out if it's also possible to forge a new beginning for something once lost. Until we meet again, Xenia. Yeah, she wants me. Of course, I say that about every woman that like appears here in Pokemon. Okay, look at that! The Space Center in Moss Deep, they're like, the energy readings uh, appear to be diffusing. We can confirm the meteoroid has been destroyed, sir! P professor the meteorite, the meteorite, it's, it, the power is above, it, thanks, it's... Calm yourself down, man, seriously. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm so happy I could kiss you. We did it! We actually did it. <laughs> Success is ours. You, you guys didn't do anything. I did all the work. I thank me, and only me, and Rayquaza, you know, Shenron and all that crud. Thank you, Draven. No problem. And, uh, well, look at that. Wally, he, he's, he's doing well. He's like, I'll be leaving then. Goodbye, Mom and Dad. Wait, just a minute, Wally. That's right. Are you okay? You looked like you were in trouble recently when those strange thugs came around. Of course. My Pokemon and I are fit for anything. See, Draven got my keystone back for me. And Mr. Norman gave me a ticket to the resort that sounds really neat. I can't wait to go and check it out. Ah. My, my. I never, I, I never dreamed I would be, uh, I would be one day think that Wally was too well. Yes, but he looks so honestly happy. That I can't help uh, help feeling happy too. Ah. Okay. And well, look at this, Team Aqua. Dot dot dot. Bro. Sorry. Dot dot dot. Archie. It looks like Matt feels sorry for the for what he's done. Dot dot dot. It's unforgivable. Ah, bro. Absolutely unforgivable. 
Um, Archie, I can't forgive what I've done. Huh? I drove my own loyal crew to such despair as this. I have no right to call myself a leader anymore. I'm... I'm sorry, man. I, I truly am. Oh, uh, bro. I'm planning to start everything over from scratch, Matt. Whatever happened back then with Kyogre and what happened this time... Look, you can't do anything if you're all wrapped up in what you believe. Team Aqua or Team Magma, Pokemon or people, there's no reason we've got to pick and pick just one of them. It might be a pain, it might even be a, a bit scary, but we've got to take a, that step into the unknown. Mix with the people who aren't like us. That's the kind of Team Aqua that I want us to be from now on. So, Team Earth? Team World? World Team? I don't know. You think you can be a part of that kind of Team Aqua, Matt? Oh, you bet. I can't believe these two. It's called a bromance, okay? It, it, you, like, everybody here has a bromance at one point. What do you think they're going to do, uh, they're going to do uh, standing here with their faces all wet with tears? Well, I guess it could be worse. It, it really could be worse. And here is the non-champion himself and the other guy. I still owe you for your help at the Sky Pillar. Thank you for that. <laughs> How like you to be so thoughtful. Cool pose. <laughs> you know, this experience really brought it home for me once again. That there is still so much about this world that I, I do not know. I wonder what would happen to Hoenn if Draven had not been here to aid us with this and the incident of the super ancient Pokemon. I alone was powerless to stop either. There is no one in this world who knows all. None who who can do all. Steven, there is no cause for such worries or concern. Hmm. <laughs> Undo culp uh, culpos. Don't worry. It's not that I, I was it's not that I am shocked by my own disappointing performance. But rather rather what? Culpos looking up above. I was just thinking how much more there is and I must I must learn about nature, about Pokemon, and about my fellow humans as well. If I am to keep living in this huge, wide world, I want to walk this world on my own two feet. To see with my own eyes. To feel it with my very skin. I need to put into practice all the advice I, I ever gave to Draven. That's why I am thinking now. Uh, okay. Steven, you can't intend to. <laughs> but no need to fear. I won't just appear, disappear at once. I'll still be around doing my duty on behalf of the Pokemon League. But, um, when the time does come for me to pursue my own hopes, well, I hope that you, Wallace, will be behind to lend a hand. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it seems I have little choice. I bow to the whims of the pampered there. I, Wallace, will do this thing you wish. Eh. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. So that's how that came to be. You know, he just called him a champion and... Whatever, and... Oh, look at this. It's Xenia. Dot, dot, dot. Mum. Aster, it's over. It's all over. And it's, uh, Grandma. Xenia, my child. Granny. You have worked so hard. Dot, dot, dot. It is enough, child. Be done with your burden. Let it go now. For everything, there must be an ending. Only then... Only then there can be a new beginning. This is an Im immutable truth that all living things on this planet, great and small, must accept. We Draconids have seen it in our history as you have seen it in your own life. Now is the time for rest. Let me let down the great burden you have borne so long alone so that you might, uh, you might at last take a step forward toward a new life. Now is the time for rest. Dot, dot, dot. Yes. Oh, well, look at that. She finally said yes. Okay. All righty. She is, uh, she is gonna rest. And Aster is looking at Grandma right here and being like, yes, she will rest. Oh, look at that. The gang is in the house. I suppose May and Draven have probably arrived by now. I imagine so. The weather is good today. They should get a good view of the stars. But you know... I, I, I really am glad we moved here from Johto. I think that meeting you, Birch, and Mrs. Birch, and Lil May has had a huge impact on our Draven's life. <laughs> it's just the same for our May. Don't you agree, dear? 
Of course. Whenever she does make it home, all May has to talk about is her Pokemon and her precious friend, Draven. Yeah, she digs me, guys. She really does dig me. I think she's over the moon about this adventure and the great friend she has found. I think our boy is just the same. He always looks so happy these days. Yeah, buddy. I hope you'll continue to look after our Draven for many more years to come. <laughs> Why, Norman? You don't even have to ask. Nothing could make me happier. <laughs> Thanks, old friend. Well then, dear, isn't it time for us to be headed back home? Yes, I think so. I should get supper started. Seriously, guys, what is supper? Oh, yes, these kids. Uh, those kids will probably be starving when they get home. Oh, I didn't make any plans for dinner. What do you think we should have, dear? Hmm, how about our little boy's favorite? You mean pizza? Because I'm down for that. I, I am down for, for that, guys. If you guys want to cook me pizza or send me pizza or bribe me with pizza, you will win. And would you look at that, guys. Your boy and his girl. Yeah, that's right. Keeping the pimp hand strong, guys. Keeping the pimp hand strong. Taking her out on her very, very first date. Yeah, buddy. All right, all right, all right, all righty. Look at that, okay. Like I said, very first date, guys. She's enjoying it. I'm a good boyfriend. Yeah, buddy, okay. Look at that. And we are enjoying the little star show and everything. And, well, that was amazing. So those are little noids or little nids. I'm really going to need to thank your dad for this one. Because, come on. I've never felt this touch before. Really. See, she really does dig me, guys. Oh, I guess I should thank you too, Draven. Look at that. She's blushing. I'm so glad I got to see this with you. That's right, guys. Keep that pimp hand strong. Announcement! Thank you for visiting the Moss Deep Space Center. This center will be closing shortly. Please make sure that you don't forget anything you leave. Okay. It's true what they say, though. Time really flies when you're having fun. It really is. It really does, guys. I can, I can, you know, I can vouch for that one right there. And yes, we are back from our date. Well, bye then. Stops, looks back. Draven. See you tomorrow. That's right. Keeping the pimp hand strong, guys. I am keeping that pimp hand strong. Okay. Alrighty. You're back at last. Welcome home, Draven. Alright. Giggity, giggity, giggity. And that right there, guys, is the end of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Delta episode. Yes. Fiend. End. I don't know how to say it in different languages, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the Delta episode, guys. Um, shoot, we really don't have a lot of stuff to do. Now, before we finish off right here, okay? Obviously, this, 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 uh, like, you know, these two episodes are coming out this week, the week of Thanksgiving. I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys out there, okay? I'm very thankful for all of you guys for, um... Sticking by for being supportive, especially during my, uh, my, 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 my worst time when, you know, I was having my health issues and all that stuff. Uh, obviously, the cough right here is just, you know, just getting into the groove of things, but I am all right. Now, for plans for Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, okay? I am going to pause it right here. I am going to, tea, I'm going to take a look at what, what legendaries to catch because, as I mentioned before, uh, the, the action replay, or not the action replay code, but... Um, the capture card, the capture card game uh, console that I have, is actually Australian. So I am on Australian time, and uh, I have to figure out what times to capture these different Pokemon. Now, if I can't, if I can't do it, then I am going to. Well, I, I, I've mentioned it before. I am going to copy and paste uh, the episodes from Pokemon Omega Ruby just replays and put them right here onto this walkthrough that way we get through the whole uh, legendary Pokemon stuff and then we will finish off this walkthrough by completing the game beating the Elite Four going to the resort we got quite a few episodes left guys but as for this week these two episodes will be up and I hope you guys enjoy them especially on your Thanksgiving also I'm pretty sure I have uh, already uploaded, uh, uploaded it, but I am hoping you guys enjoy Pokemon Y, our next uh, serious walkthrough. 
especially with Pokemon White 2, whenever that will come out and all that stuff. Things are coming, guys. Things are being prepared. And again, I want to say I'm thankful for every single one of you guys right here on YouTube for supporting me since, you know, for almost 13 years. Well, yeah, it's about to be 13 years in a month. So thank you guys again. I will see you guys next week on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire as we continue to finish up this whole walkthrough right here. See you guys.